All right, let's move on to the next trainer. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Hey, hi. I just love Pokemon. They're so cute. Now I'm gonna make them fight. Hello, everybody. I am Kindly Kian, and welcome to Roblox. We are checking out Pokemon Brick Bron- Blah. Brick or Brick Super Derby. Hello everybody, I'm Kindly Keen and welcome back to Roblox. Today we are checking out Pokemon Brick Bronze, which is something that uh, a lot of you guys had suggested I check out. Pokemon is something that I've uh, I've always enjoyed. Uh, I was a wee lad when I played Pokemon Blue. I think I was uh, like 10 or 11 when that game came out. And uh, I enjoy Pokemon quite a bit. So checking out this, I've heard a lot of great things about this. A lot of you guys suggested I check it out. So we're gonna jump into Pokemon Brick Bronze and see what it's all about. Are you ready to start your adventure? Absolutely. I am. Let's start a new game. All right, here we go. Everything's kind of loading in. Uh, that man has no face. Uh, guys, guys, that that man had no face. That's that's a little freaky. A little freaky. But we can see uh, we're getting a nice little cutscene here to introduce us to the world of Pokemon Bronze Brick, which is kind of hard to say. Bronze Brick, Bronze Brick, Bronze Brick, Bronze Brick, Bronze Brick. I can. It's not that hard to say. All right, here we go. And in case you guys didn't notice, I gave my little man a little update. Uh, I, I changed my... <laughs> he knocked the clock out of there. That's amazing. Uh, he looks a little bit different, as you can probably tell. Uh, we gave him a new, a new style, a new do. I can't believe today has finally come. What's today? Today I get my first Pokemon from the Pokemon Professor. I've always dreamed of setting out on my own adventure with Pokemon by my side. There's so many Pokemon in this world. I hope to discover them all one day. Well, I'd better get going. Oh, I almost forgot. I need to fill out my trainer card. Of course, my trainer card. Type my name. Well, obviously, it is Kian. Kian? Did I write that correctly? I sure hope so. I sure hope I know how to spell my own name. Awesome! I'm that much closer to officially being a Pokemon trainer. Is that all it takes? All right, they're still working on it, but that's okay. Let's jump in. Oh, cool. All right. And uh, we've got our menu off to the side here. Yes, very nice. Looks great. Looks fantastic. This must be like the world. That's huge. That's that's quite impressive. They've got a lot of stuff there. Okay, let's go downstairs. Okay, nice house. Nice place, man. Nice crib. You cannot jump, which is faithful to Pokemon. You can't jump in Pokemon. So why would you be able to jump in a Roblox game about Pokemon? All right, here we go. We've exited the house. Hey, Keen, it's me, Jake. Hey, Jake. Cool hair. I can't believe we're getting our first Pokemon today. This is the day we've dreamed of since we were kids. I'm on my way to the lab to get mine right now. Oh yeah, your parents wanted to see you before you went to the lab. I saw them pass my house earlier, heading towards the digging site. Hurry and go talk to them. I'll be waiting for you at the lab. All right, see you later, Jake. Uh, the digging site. Where's the digging site? Oh, okay, good. I can move the camera. Uh, digging site. Digging site. This looks like a dig site. This looks like... This has all the markings of a dig site. These lights, these are the selling thing for dig sites. That's the quintessential dig site light. These must be my parents? Uh, is my dad Indiana Jones? Please tell me my dad is Indiana Jones. Well, that ought to take care of it. We have to keep this a secret for everyone's safety. You're right. It's too dangerous for anyone to go down there. I don't think we should tell anybody about this. I'm standing right behind you. Tell anybody about what? Maybe we can tell that new professor. Maybe you're right. Oh, Kian, hi. <laughs> you startled me. We weren't talking about anything suspicious or things that you shouldn't hear. Hey, champ. Oh, dude, my dad is definitely Indiana Jones. Only Indiana Jones would say, hey, champ. Today is the day you get your first Pokemon. We are so happy for you, sweetie. Sorry we didn't meet you at home. We just discovered something in the cave last night that you can't tell me about because you're keeping it all secret and under wraps. As archaeologists, your mother and I are very thorough in our work. That's right, but enough talking. Let's head down to the professor's lab and let you pick your very first Pokemans. We'll see you there. All right, thanks, Indiana Jones dad. Oh, I like the music. Yeah, yeah, I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Well, my parents made it very easy for me to tell where I need to go. Uh, also, this house is a sick. This is a really nice crib. Uh, the professor's doing all right for himself, I would say. All right, we are in the Poke Lab, and that's the professor. Hello, my name is Professor Cypress. Man, he looks like such a stiff compared to all the other uh, professors in the previous Pokemon game. I mean, gosh, like in Pokemon Sun and Moon, you got this dude with like a like a lab coat and like his his 
his shirt off and stuff like he's just he's chilling anyways hello my name is professor cypress i am the new professor in midas town i'll bet you're kian your parents were just telling me about you you must be very excited to be getting your first pokemon today there are a few things you must know about pokemon first pokemon are our friends and we grow alongside them they grow and in some cases evolve and change form as we battle with them yes i'm aware of these things your pokemon will grow to love you as you adventure with them oh that's cool i never knew that before yeah jake welcome to the world of pokemon come on dude where have you been Jeez, pokemon's been around for like 20 years yes and there are still many things that we do not know about Pokemon. Kian, I want you now to pick a Pokemon that you would like to accompany you on your adventures. Make a choice from these 21 different breeds. Oh my gosh, I, I can't, I don't even have to pick from three. I get 21 different options. This is amazing. Okay, yeah, we get the starting Pokemon from pretty much every single iteration of Pokemon up to this point. Oh, this is the dude that I have in Pokemon Sun. Or do I have Pokemon Moon? I have Pokemon Sun. This is the guy that I have. Meow, Meowlith, Meowlit, Meow. I I forget his name. You know what? I'm just gonna just ignore me. Uh, who are we gonna go with? I mean, should we go with the classic Charizard? I mean, that's pretty sweet. Bulbasaur, Squirtle. I mean, they are adorable. They are quite adorable. I don't know. There's so many options. Who to go with? The Penguin dude's pretty cool. I don't know his name, but I like him. I like him. Oh, Greninja. That's who this guy turns into. Greninja is top tier level awesomeness. I think I might have to go with the frog. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Froakie, that's his name. Froakie the water type Pokemon. Yes, Froakie is mine. Me and Froakie are, are going to become super ninjas. Excellent choice, Kian. Your new Pokemon is so cute. Although I have to say like the Greninja thing, like he's super cool, obviously. He's a frog that's a ninja. But that dude wraps his tongue around his neck like a scarf. Like, ew, that's gross. Like, if you saw some dude walking down the street with his tongue wrapped around his neck, you'd have to ask, like, are you okay, sir? Is, is everything all right? Are you, are you dying? Are you even human? Or are you half Greninja? There's a lot of questions here. That Pokemon definitely has potential in battle. I know he turns into a, a tongue wrapped ninja. We talked all about it. I hope our Pokemon becomes best friends like we are. All right, Kian, many challenges await you. Let me give you one other gift that will help you along your way. It's a Pokedex. Of course, the Pokedex. It's like an electronic encyclopedia that records the kinds of Pokemon you encounter and capture. It will also help me in my research with Pokemon. Also, if you'd like, you can come back at any time and purchase another Pokemon from my assistant, David. Now, what are you waiting for? Go and explore the world of Pokemon. Absolutely. Yes, Kian, go ahead and have fun with your Pokemon. Thanks, Indiana Jones, Dad. We need to stay behind and talk to the professor for a minute. Of course you do. We'll meet up with you later. All right. So we got our first Pokemon. Hey, Kian, wait up. All right, Jake. Sorry about that. We have Pokemon now. Thanks for reminding me. Let's battle. All right. We're getting our first battle on. Pokemon trainer would like to battle you. Okay. He sent out Eevee. Dude, look at that. So it looks like they've taken the sprites from the previous versions of Pokemon and they put them into this game, which is unbelievable. This is insane how much work they put into this. Uh, this is awesome. All right, so let's fight and uh, we'll use bubble uh, because that's what we do as a water Pokemon. We shoot bubbles. Did I, did I hit him? Okay, you don't actually get like, we're not gonna see like major action going on here. You're just gonna see it impact the enemy, which makes sense. I mean, there's only so much you can do with a game that isn't like, you know, designed to be Pokemon. It's still incredibly impressive. Helping hand, what, what a waste, what a waste. Froakie used bubble, Froakie wins, Froakie's his champion, Froakie's gonna become a super ninja monster in one day and uh, you're all gonna run for your lives. Amazing! <laughs> Jake is super impressed. He just can't take that smile off of his face. Nice fighting. Here, let me heal your Pokemon. Thanks, Jake. There's mom and dad. Kian, that was an excellent battle. Your father and I watched you while we were discussing things with the professor. We are very proud of you in taking this step to become a Pokemon trainer. I'm not going to just be a Pokemon trainer, guys. I'm going to be a Pokemon master. I want to be the very best. We want you to know that we will be supporting you as you explore Roria. Roria. That's the name of this place that we live in. You need to be very careful as you are going to be out on your own for the first time. Don't forget to floss. Of course. Thank you, Mom. 
Kian, we want to give you something to take with you as a gift to celebrate this momentous occasion. What is that? A Lego brick? A bronze brick, of course. Kian put the bronze brick in the bag. I made it into a necklace just this morning. When you look at it, remember your family who loves you. Don't forget to keep it safe. Thanks, Indiana Jones dad. We're headed back to the house. If you need anything, that's where you can find us. All right. Wow. That was really cool of your parents. They gave you a brick to hang around your neck, a giant brick. Could you imagine just a giant brick? And you're like, oh, oh, what's that hanging around your neck? Oh, this is a giant brick that my Indiana Jones dad gave me. And uh, it helps me remind, uh, it helps remind me of them when I'm thinking about them. It also gives me scoliosis. Great. Oh, by the way, I have something for you. They're for catching wild Pokemon, obtained five Pokeballs. He and put the Pokeballs in his bag, of course. It works best if you weaken the Pokemon before throwing a Pokeball at it. I know this. I've been around the block a couple of times. Well, I need to gather a few things before I set off on my adventure. You should go start training your Pokemon on Route 1. Past Route 1 is Cheshma Town. That'll be a good place for us to meet up. All right, I'll see you later. All right, see you later, dude. Look at that adorable picture. That is... Too stinking cute. Man. Oh, I can I can climb the books. <laughs> climbing books. Climbing books. Good to know. That is not cute. That is not cute at all. That is terrifying. What is that thing? I don't even know what Pokemon that is. Wow. Okay, let's let's I guess head to Route 1 and start powering up our uh Froakie. Whoa, look at this guy. This guy looks like a thug. I don't know. Is he gonna is he gonna start some trouble with us? Here, let me heal your Pokemon. No, he's gonna heal my Pokemon. Wow. I am a poor judge of character. This, you're a top-notch guy. Good luck on your adventurers out there. If your Pokemon ever need quick healing, come talk to me. Good to know. Good to know. All right. Uh, what's this guy doing? I don't know why, but the water has always scared me. I'm not a very good swimmer. Some people ride on the backs of Pokemon and let them do the swimming for them, of course. Um, uh, we can't get in the water because we need to get the... Uh, HM swim these two these two do not look happy with each other. Are you guys fighting? Are you okay? Mind your own business. We're just hanging out man. You look so angry about hanging out What are you looking at kid and you look really just kind of like indifferent and not caring you guys are kind of jerks All right, here. We are route one. We made it and uh, this should be our first battle with our po first Pokemon trainer bugs are the most interesting Pokemon This must be a bug trainer or bug catcher Ralph all right, bring it on, Bug Catcher Ralph. What do you got there? What is that thing? A wormple? Okay, I gotta, I gotta tell you guys before we get too far into this, uh, Pokemon is something that I adore, but it's not something that I keep up with. I do not know who all the Pokemon are, so a lot of the newer Pokemon are uh, completely beyond me. I, I pretty much know all the first like 150, 151 Pokemon, uh, but beyond that, it's a little foggy, so you're gonna have to bear with me. I don't know who all the Pokemon are, but Wurmple looks to be some kind of caterpillar of some type. Uh, let's shoot a bubble at him. Although, are bug type Pokemon strong against, uh, no, they're not, they don't have any kind of, uh, kind of weakness or strength against water. Grass type do. Uh, grass type will kick our butts. Uh, so we'll try to avoid getting in too many fights with grass type. Although, you know, it's not too big of a deal. Your starting Pokemon ends up being the strongest Pokemon for a long time anyways on your team. Uh, it ends up beating everything anyways. So I'm not too worried about it. If this goes the way of normal Pokemon games, I think we'll do all right. I think we'll be okay. And so far, so good. We're kicking this Wurmple's butt. We already killed one and we just got to take out the other one. There we go. All right. Hey, level seven, not bad. Take that, Ralph. See you later, dude. All right, uh, let's move on to the grass. Oh, okay. Man, they have some serious sight lines there. <laughs> I met my Pokemon on this route, okay. Everybody for years has been asking for a 3D Pokemon. To think that we'd be playing a 3D Pokemon in Roblox that is this in depth is quite impressive. I just can't get over how cool this is. There's so much to see here, and I can't wait to continue playing. We killed that Zigazoon, or whatever that thing name, really fast. All right, we kicked that guy's butt. Now let's try to catch our first Pokemon. A Fletchling is actually a pretty sweet Pokemon. I would love to upgrade that guy. Uh, I forget what he evolves into, 
but it's a decent Pokemon. Is it uh, Fero? No, no, that's Spiro. I don't know. I don't know. Again, you're going to have to bear with me here. Um, hopefully, we don't kill it. Pound is our weakest ability, and that might actually just kill it. No, it didn't kill it. Okay, um, but if we hit it again with Pound, it may well die. So I think I'm going to try sending out a Pokeball here. Let's try to use this Pokeball. Try catch this Fletchling. Come on, Fletchling. One. Oh, are you serious? Really? Really? Like, I mean, he's he's halfway down. Um, what else can we do? I mean, we can growl, but I don't think that's going to affect our catching chance. If I use Pound again, I'm going to go ahead and give it a shot. But I feel like, he, yeah, he's dead. He's dead. Well, all right. We didn't get to catch our first Pokemon in dead. Instead, <laughs> in dead, we killed it. Instead, we killed it. Okay, this should be a little bit easier because this one is a slightly higher level. So hopefully, we can hit it with two pounds. So here we go. One. Good. Oh, it actually might take us several. All right, let's give it another pound. Boom. Probably one more after that. Although, he did take our attack down. So maybe we can get two more. Ah, I think that's going to be cutting it a little bit too close. Let's go ahead and throw a Pokeball and get ourselves a Fletchling. I, I feel it. I feel it in my bones. This is it. We got ourselves a Fletchling. It's coming. It's coming. Here we go. Boom. Boom. Gotcha. Fletchling was caught. Fletchling was added to... Uh, no, I don't want to give a nickname to Fletchling. Although, should I give nicknames? I don't know. If you guys have nicknames for my Pokemon, let me know in the comments below. And maybe we'll give them some of your uh, your suggestions. I do want to go back to the, the weird dude sitting on the bridge and heal up my Pokemon. But first, apparently I need to fight this bu Bunnelby? Bunnelby? I have no idea what this Pokemon turns into or what you become. Uh, but you got weird, like, hand ears, which is kind of freaking me out. Maybe I should have tried to catch it, but I don't know. I don't know. I'm kind of running low on Pokeballs, so I don't want to catch everything. Uh, did he heal me? Is that it? All right, let's move on to the next trainer. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Hey, hi. I just love Pokemon. They're so cute. Now I'm gonna make them fight. A Picnicker Susie. Picnicker's got one of these weird hand bunnies. He's they got hands on his head. For ears, it's creepy. All right, we're gonna knock this guy out. No problem with Bubble. Not an issue whatsoever. I'm surprised he actually lived, but uh, now we'll use Pound to finish the job. All right, Bunnelby is down. What else you got? What else you got? Bring it. A Pidgey? No, nope, I'm not gonna switch. Be All right, we took out the Pidgey. That is awesome. Froakie grew to level nine, so I'm feeling good about that. And yes, you do need to train your Pokemon more, Susie. Do yourself a favor and train your Pokemon some more. Let's get this item, whatever this is down here. How do we pick stuff up? Do we just walk into it? Okay, yeah, we walk into it. Got ourselves a potion. Can I drop off? Okay, good. And then we'll just head through this grass here. And obviously, get in a fight with a Bunnelby. All right, if you want me to catch the Bunnelby, you should have said so from the beginning. We're going to try to catch this thing. So let's use Pound so that we don't accidentally kill it. And I think we can get another pound in, and then we should be able to catch this guy. Oh, I just noticed we got quick attack as well, but we'll continue using pound for the time being. And that should be a good spot. I think that'll get us the catch, so let's go into our bag, go to Pokeball, and use. And Bunnelby, we need three shakes of the Pokeball. Three. There it is. Bunnelby was caught. We gotcha. Uh, you know what? Actually, I'm going to give him a name. His name is going to be Bugs, as in Bugs Bunny. How creative of me. This guy loves cats. He loves cats! I'm glad you love cats so much. All right, let's continue. <gasps> Kian! Oh my gosh, someone's yelling at me. I got here as fast as I could. Something terrible has happened. I need you to come back to town with me. I don't have time to explain. Let's go. Oh no. Oh no, Jake. What's going on in town? Kian. I'm so, I'm so glad to see you are safe. I'm so sorry to be the one to tell you this, Kian. But your parents have been abducted from their home in the short time you have been gone. No, Indiana Jones, dead. Not much is known yet, but it is suspected that they were taken by a group of people known as Team Eclipse. That must have been those suspicious characters on the other side of the bridge who were hanging out. 
You see, Team Eclipse is an organization of people who have a unique perspective on people and Pokemon. They believe that people and Pokemon are not at harmony with one another, and they have interesting ideas for how to solve this problem. They are also dangerous and not to be trifled with. They seem to do whatever it takes to accomplish their goals. I do not know what they want with your parents, but I suspect it has something to do with their skills as archaeologists. Your parents are familiar with Pokemon of Legend on Roria. Whatever Team Eclipse is after, I'm sure they are getting very close to achieving it. Now tell me, Kian, did your parents say anything about their work when you saw them this morning? Oh, so your parents gave you that necklace early, earlier. Yes, this giant brick that's hanging off of my neck. Please take it. It's it's causing me a lot of neck pain. Anyways, it's not safe for you here now. Kian, I think for the time being, it's best for you to leave town. At least until you figure out... What's happened here? At least until we figure out what's happened here. Cheshma Town is a good place to start. It's just past Route 1. That's where I was headed. Be careful now, Kian, and don't go looking for trouble. I really hope that they find my parents. This is a real sad thing to have happened. Um, I don't, I don't know, man. I don't know. This bums me out. Thank you for healing my Pokemon. And let's head uh, back to wherever we were going and try to figure out what happened to our parents. And... Indiana Jones dad man that's a that's a sad sad thing All right what's on the other side of this door what happens here when we go through here are we going is this Chesh Cheshma town whoa that girl had no hair when we walked in here and now she has hair I don't trust her but I'm gonna talk to her the Pokemon on route 1 are pretty weak Pokemon on routes ahead will be stronger watch out and make sure your Pokemon are prepared I'm not sure about you Mysteriously growing hair lady. I'm watching you. Let's move on. Who's this dude? I just recently learned that Pokemon get more experience when they battle trained Pokemon than wild Pokemon. Wild Pokemon aren't as good at battling, so your Pokemon don't learn as much from them. Eh, yeah, that's a good point. That is true. That is very, very true. Ah, we made it to Cheshma Town. And look at, <laughs> look at this. <laughs> There's a Squirtle Fountain and a Sawbucks Coffee. We're going to have to get our coffee fix. All right, anyways. Hey, over here. You look like a brand new trainer. This must be your first time traveling alone. I see. Your parents were abducted by Team Eclipse? That's terrible. I have some information about Team Eclipse that might be valuable. Follow me to my home where we can discuss it privately. I have no idea who you are. Why would I follow you? You're... You could be the creep who stole my parents. This does not seem like a good practice, kids. So your parents were taken by Team Eclipse. Gosh, that must be awful. I bet you must miss them. Oh, so they gave you that necklace before they were taken. Oh, yeah. Did you notice the giant bronze brick hanging off of my neck? Do you mind if I see it? Yeah, here. Just here. Here. Just take it. Take it. It's it's a little heavy. Here. Use both hands. Use both hands. Yeah, you get it. You get it. It's a very heavy brick that my dad makes me hang around my neck. Heh, thanks. <gasps> Yo. That punk just took my giant brick necklace. What the heck? I told you. I told you that fool was suspicious. Hey, there you are, Kian. Who was that person that just took off running out of here? Wait, what? She took the necklace that your parents gave you? Yeah, I have no idea how she ran with that giant thing. Uh, because it is super heavy. That was the last thing your parents gave you before they disappeared. We have to go after her and get that back. I saw her running into the woods just outside of town. Quick, follow me, and I'll lead you there. Look at this. We got our squirtle shooting bubbles. This is brilliant stuff right here. I love this. And look at that fountain. It's so cute. It's adorable. It's adorable. And then we got Sawbox Coffee over there, and we got the Poke Center. This is an awesome game. I'm having a ton of fun playing it, but unfortunately, I am out of time for today. So we are going to have to end this episode, but hopefully you guys are enjoying this. Be sure to let me know in the comments below if you guys want to see more of Pokemon Brick Bronze in Roblox. This is definitely a ton of fun. Of course, if you enjoyed this, be sure to hit that like button. And if you want to see more, you can subscribe to my channel. But otherwise, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.